I want to show you a really fun way of rounding off your topic changing materials. When you're in year five and six, thinking about solids, liquids and gases, you're thinking about mixing things, burning things, heating and cooling and what happens. This one is mixing materials. You're going to make a gas. So what we're going to do is a bit of chemistry in your bath. Yeah. You know those bath bombs that you drop in and it all makes the bubbles? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, we're going to make one of those, make a great present or something. Um, and we're going to use some dry chemicals and then some wet chemicals because we don't want it to start until we introduce it to water. So there's a dry phase and a wet phase. A bit like a cookery program, this. We're going to start with household chemicals, things you can get hold of. Bicarbonate of soda, easy, you find that in the supermarket. Citric acid, which, yes, it's an acid, but so yeah. is vinegar and lemon juice. Yeah. It's the stuff that's in sherbet. And then a little bit of salt. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, then. So... Two spoonfuls, they are dessert spoonfuls, of bicarbonate of soda. Yeah. One spoonful, a teaspoonful, of citric acid. Citric acid, yeah. Yeah. And then one teaspoonful of salt. So that's the dry phase. Okay. And then the wet phase, we have to mix away from it, so you'll need some sort of container. It's two teaspoons of oil. Any sort of oil doesn't necessarily, you don't really want posh oil because you don't want it too expensive. And some sort of fragrance. And you can get fragranced oils, potpourri type essential oils. Right. So you need about three or four drops of that, not too strong. But that's a bit boring, that yeah. colour. So I. It up. Yeah, I've bought some blue. Yeah. So a few drops of blue colouring okay. in there. Yeah, that's brilliant. We give it a really good shake. Oh, that's going to be great. <laughs> and then you pour it in and give it a really good mix. Okay. So there you go. And whilst you're doing that, you, can, you need to sort of mould this into something. You could use an ice cube mould. You yeah. can get some really good ones. Little tiny cake cases. Mm -hmm. Or we found these, which are quite good, these little cases. And you probably, from that mix, get two. You might even get three, but certainly two. Um, so you need to give it a really good mix yeah. and then press it down into the little case. Right. That's so great. That yeah, way. yeah, that's great. And it's absolutely fine to get your thumbs in there. It's fine right. for the children to touch them. They'd have to wash their hands afterwards, but the stuff that you're using is things you would eat. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's fine to get it and give it a really good press down. And that's just for it to take uh, the correct shape? Yes. Okay. That's brilliant. So, there we have it. We have to leave this to set overnight. So, it's the morning after and the bath bomb's gone quite hard. It has. Yeah. So it's time to set the reaction off, to pop it in the bath. You had the dry phase, you had the wet phase but had oil in it. So this reaction won't start until you add water. The salt doesn't really do anything but you've got the the bicarbonate of soda, which is an alkali, and it reacts with the citric acid, and it produces a gas. Um, if you were doing this in um, primary school, it would be in changing materials, irreversible reactions, because you're actually making a brand new material. And the gas is? Carbon dioxide. Yeah, carbon dioxide. So, drop it in. Here it goes. I'll give it a swirl around. Well, you can actually see the carbon dioxide fizzling off. You can. All those bubbles, the blue, the colour, and the oil actually makes your, um, your skin soft in the bath. It looks very pretty, doesn't it? It certainly does. So what you've got there, you've actually got a chemical reaction. Chemistry in your bath. <laughs>